Donald Trump continues to defy the skeptics. The president-elect's popularity is skyrocketing as he shows cynics that he has the temperament to be the commander-in-chief. And now, uh, adjusting several of his more controversial campaign promises, for instance, just today, uh, Donald Trump vowing to sever all of his business uh, ties from his business empire. Here to discuss this, Heather Higgins, uh, Ryan Williams, and Gina Loudon. Heather, let me, let me start with you. It's, it's, it began, obviously, the night of the acceptance speech. Think back then. Market futures showed the Dow was going to open down 800 points, maybe lose 1,000 points. Then came the acceptance speech, and it's been almost every step of the way. Uh, he just, he just, he has to, had the right temperament. He's made the right moves, and more and more people in America believe. Yeah, it's kind of like Brexit again, isn't it? You know, the market's initially falling and tanking, and then realizing that, oops, maybe this is actually a good thing. Uh, no, he's done the right thing. Price is an excellent pick. Uh, for Obama secretary, as are the other ones that we heard today on commerce, etc. Um, he's been a surprise on the upside for a lot of people all the way through. So, so Ryan, I, I'm not sure where you were along the process. Uh, obviously, uh, the, the Mitt, Rom Mitt Romney was a, a, a arch foe. Uh, he was very vocal to the point where many people felt he was trying to sabotage uh, Donald Trump's candidacy. A, a fair amount of never Trumpers have either come on board. Or, or they've been putting the pieces in place for the mea culpa. Where are you right now? Oh, I think that President-elect Trump is doing a very good job. I think he's surprising a lot of people by putting together an administration that's not just his core group of supporters, but he's reaching you know, beyond that to people like Nikki Haley, the new United Nations ambassador. Um, he's speaking to someone like my old boss, Governor Romney, who uh, was a, a very harsh critic of his. It may not re result in an appointment, but I think it's good to see that he's reaching out and building bridges and kind of getting away from the caustic rhetoric he used during the campaign, but also keeping his pledges. You know, the carrier deal was, I think, a, a, a brilliant stroke today, and it's giving a lot of people confidence in his administration. Gina, th does that kind of worry you, though? The, the, <laughs> some of the people who were really harsh critics of Donald Trump now saying they applaud his moves, does that mean maybe, you know, it, it, because obviously the grassroots are worried about a few things, but more than anything else, they're worried about that dinner last night with uh, Mitt Romney and what that may ultimately result in. Uh, I, I think I it's good guess, to see him reaching Charles, out. That, that is concerning for me. Uh, yeah, it, it is definitely concerning for me. And I, I understand, and I think what he's done is so admirable. We all understand that bringing his enemies to the table, making sure he'll be able to function well as president is a really important thing. But I would be careful about the psychology here. We don't want to send a message as people who were basically an uprising, right, against the establishment, Charles. We don't want to send a message that the loudest, most obnoxious detractor people who say things, for instance, like what Nikki Haley said about President-elect Trump when he was a candidate, that she taught her children everything not to say, uh, and that was, those were the things essentially that, uh, that, the, that the candidate Trump was saying. Um, we don't want to send a message to those people that if you're the loudest, worst detractor, you're going to be rewarded for that once somebody is actually put into uh, office. And so I think we need to somehow walk that fine line so that that message isn't sent, but that the hand is extended and people People understand that this is going to be a fully functioning government. Yeah, Heather, to I, that point, uh, Giuliani was the, there was no uh, more loyal soldier in the fight for, for Donald Trump than, than Rudy Giuliani. And yeah, I don't think, I, I think that a lot of folks would be upset if he gets anything less than Secretary of State. I, I wouldn't presume to judge for Trump whom he should appoint, but I would point out that he has a long track record of hiring and firing people. Uh, so that he has a reputation of having really good people in the right places for the jobs that they need to do. Uh, and that's one of the managerial skill sets that he brings to this. He's a delegator. He hires good people who are right for the job. And so even if somebody has been incredibly loyal, if they're not the right person for the job or the thing that he needs and has promised the country he's going to accomplish, I think he's going to be looking for the right person to do that, just as he did during his campaign. He went through three different campaign managers, and each one was right for the period of his campaign when they were working for him, whether it was the insurgency campaign from the beginning, the one that needed to manage a convention, or the one who needed to bring it home. And so Trump, I think, is going to do the same thing with his right. political appointments. But, but Ryan, uh, your old boss, Mitt Romney, many feel totally disqual dis disqualified himself, uh, that he went beyond the pale to...
to the point where it diminished any particular skill sets he could possibly bring to the job because perhaps the greatest skill set, particularly as Secretary of State, is that you mirror, that you echo, that you, that you are a representative of the President of the United States, not an arch foe. Well, anyone who takes this job as Secretary of State is going to be answering to Donald Trump. He's going to set the foreign policy, and the Secretary of State will work for him. I think what Trump is doing is showing that he's a bigger man than many of his critics gave him credit for. He is able to reach out to someone like Mitt Romney to, to talk to him because he knows he's a man of great skill and, and, and someone who could potentially serve him well. He's willing to put aside kind of the back and forth of the campaign and, and consider someone like him. And I think it shows that he's willing to consider the best and brightest for these positions. He's not going to give out patronage jobs. He wants to find the best person for the position because, you know, loyalty is, is good, but you want to find the best person for the position so that the government runs well. And I think that shows a great deal of leadership on the president elect's part. Yeah, although many people think Rudy Giuliani uh, may even have He's better good, skills. He's a good choice as yeah. well. Good choice as well yeah. But I, you know, I think Gina's right. You know, sometimes you got to be a little bit worried when your skeptics start to applaud all of your moves. But no matter what, Donald Trump has proved <laughs> them all wrong so far. Thanks a lot, guys. Really appreciate it.